always be that type of person. Always trust me. Speak what everybody else is saying. I certified as a life coach. I do life coach. Professional counselor. Now I work on my kids. I'm my life. At the time when I was writing, I was married. Um, I married with two children. And I was in a marriage that we were married, but yet I was single. <laughs> um, I didn't like my husband. Um, and I didn't like my marriage. And I really didn't like myself. So I had to go on a journey finding who I was versus the person I had become. And that's where this talk was Okay. I went on a journey for myself. I had a lot of people that I had to deal with, clients, friends that had been in, that were in like chaotic situations. And I just kind of analyzed how that some of their earlier life problems and events affected them in adulthood. Okay. So a lot of people, a lot of women have gone through the same uh, circumstances, the same mistakes, same problems. A lot of them reacted the same way, whether it was sexually, uh, eating, shopping. So, me being transparent, it comes off as comical, but it sparks conversation. Okay. And a lot of people say, oh yeah, I feel that way. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that way. So, I'm, I'm able to use that transparency to help women. Okay. I took those same two that helped me come out and kind of dissected their life. Some of them still in it, some of them have come out, but I just kind of showed how one event affects another event and how it creates a cycle if you, if you never deal with the person. And how we as women develop these negative minds about life, about each other, because of some events that happen for my baby. Builds on another event, something that looks similar. So then we, we get this mindset and we become a person that we didn't intend to be. Sometimes we become bitter, angry. <laughs> so, um, and I saw um, how that it just changed us as a whole. So I just thought about it. Let's talk about life. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about these relationships. Let's talk about some of those things that we were taught as children culturally, how it affects us, um, and how it causes us to react when we get older, and how how those reactions cause us to have uh, difficulties in life. So, I, and it crosses cultural lines. You know, we have our issues in African American women, but then some of those same issues with other countries because I don't think the mind someone talks about it. Because those things bother us. You know how we are in this. We get it out of here. We got girls get sadder than that. It's Friday night. We got wine. <laughs> wine, wine, ice cream. <laughs> so we talk about it. But the thing about it, we talk about it. We never have a solution. Right. It's just a pity bar. Mm -hmm. Women can hide behind their hurt and their emotions with a new car, mm -hmm. a new house, um, 23 inches of weed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, they hide behind their hurt mm -hmm. and they think it's a new curse. Mm -hmm. So, but they're dying in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And eventually, once they you keep going full speed ahead, you're going to crack depression and that. It's increasing because nobody can get to those issues. Sweeping it up under the rug, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you keep sweeping it up under the rug, you're gonna get a rug. No. We have to deal with those things so that we can heal, mm -hmm. so that we can be successful in every area. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't deal with our issues, our emotional hurts, our pain, our trauma, mm -hmm. it affects every area of our life. We have 12 step, mm -hmm. we got 8 step, mm -hmm. we got 3 step, mm -hmm. we got 5 step, we got all these steps. To, to get right, but if you don't have understanding, mm -hmm. those steps are not What calls the steps to work is understanding why I am going through these steps mm -hmm. and how are they going to impact my life. We get a lot of information, we get a lot of knowledge, but we don't have understanding. Mm -hmm. And once you understand something, your mindset changes. Once your mindset changes, your behavior changes. So you look at it because you have a clear understanding of why. Why is it? Um, what happens? Why is it? 
what makes it what makes me react to you. So once you understand it, you stop all of that cycle of chaos. So we have to figure out how do I stop? What's my trick? You know, what's the trick? What is it that makes me click? Because what makes me click for me? What makes what's my trick? It's not somebody else's trick. So I have to figure out, you know, who am I? What's this for me? And I'm always looking for um, the end before I start at the beginning. And when I say that, what's my finish goal? So my finish goal is this. My finish outlook is this. So I'm always living from the end. So I live from the end and I factor in all the what, what can happen, what happens, all the what happens in life. So I figure it out and then I say, okay, this may happen. So once it happens, what am I going to 